Well, good morning, SECC family. Got a little beep, 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 beep going on behind me. I'd ask you would uh, kind of ignore that. Got some food cooking, and that's the only way I can do it. So uh, we are on our journey through the Bible. We are in Joshua. We are going to be doing chapters 4 and 5 today. Israel has made it across the Jordan River. What happens next? Stick around. Joshua 4. Let's go. When all the nation had finished passing over the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Take twelve men from the people, from each tribe a man, and commanded them, saying, Take twelve stones from here, out of the midst of the Jordan, from the very place where the priest's feet stood firmly, and bring them over with you, and lay them down in the place where you lodge tonight. Then Joshua called the twelve men from the people of Israel, whom he had appointed, a man from each tribe, and Joshua said to them, Pass on before the ark of your Lord into the midst of the Jordan, and take up each of you a stone upon his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the people of Israel, that this may be a sign among you, when your children ask in time to come, What do these stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them of the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord when it passed over the Jordan. The waters of the Jordan were cut off. So these stones shall be to the people of Israel a memorial forever. And the people of Israel did just as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones out of the midst of the Jordan, according to the number of the tribes of the people of Israel, just as the Lord told Joshua. Then they carried them over with them to the place where they lodged and laid them there. And Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant had stood, and they are there to this day. For the priests bearing the ark stood in the midst of the Jordan until everything was finished, that the Lord commanded Joshua to tell the people according to all that Moses had commanded Joshua. The, the people passed over in haste, and when all the people had finished passing over the ark of the Lord, and the priests passed over before the people, the sons of Reuben and the sons of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh passed over armed before the people of Israel as Moses had told them. About 40,000 ready for war passed over before the Lord for battle to the plains of Jericho. And on that day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they stood in awe of him just as they had stood in awe of Moses all the days of his life. And the Lord said to Joshua, Command the priests bearing the ark of the testimony to come up out of the Jordan. So Joshua commanded the priests to come out, out of the Jordan. And when the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came up from the midst of the Jordan, and the soles of the priests' feet were lifted up on dry ground, the waters of the Jordan returned to their place, and overflowed it, all its banks as before. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and they encamped at Gilgal on the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of the Jordan Joshua set up at Gilgal, and he said to the people of Israel, When your children ask their fathers in times to come, what do these stones mean? Then you shall ask, or you shall, sorry, then you shall let your children know Israel passed over this Jordan on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan for you until you passed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea when he dried up for us until we passed over, so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty, that you may fear the Lord your God forever. Joshua chapter 5. As soon as all the kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan to the west, and the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan for the people of Israel until they had crossed over, their hearts melted and there was no longer any spirit in them because of the people of Israel. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives and circumcise the sons of Israel a second time. So Joshua made flint knives and circumcised the sons of Israel at Gibeah, Paraloth. And this is the reason why Joshua circumcised them. All the males of the people who came out of Egypt, all the men of war, had died in the wilderness on the way after they had come out of Egypt. Though all the people who had come out had been circumcised, yet all the people who were born on the way in the wilderness after they had come out of Egypt had not been circumcised. 
for the people of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness until all the nation of the men of war who came out of Egypt perished because they did not obey the voice of the Lord. The Lord swore to them that he would not let them see the land that the Lord had sworn to their fathers to give to us, a land flowing with milk and honey. So it was their children whom he raised up in their place that Joshua circumcised. For there were uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. When the circumcising of the whole nation was finished, they remained in their places in the camp until they were healed. And he, and the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. And so the name of that place is called Gilgal to this day. While the people of Israel were in camp at Gilgal, they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the month in the evening on the plains of Jericho. And the day after the Passover, on that very day, they ate of the produce of the land, unleavened cakes and parched grain. And the manna ceased the day they ate of the produce of the land. And there was no longer manna for the people of Israel, but they ate of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. When Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, a man was standing before him with a drawn sword in hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, are you for us or for our adversaries? And he said, No, but I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Now I have come up. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worship, and said to him, Why does my Lord say to his servant? And the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take off your sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy. And Joshua did so. Wow. Wow. Uh, we're reading this without commentary, but all I can say here is, wow. A lot of stuff going on in that last scene right there. Just, wow. Anyhow, we are at the end of our reading today of chapters 4 and 5 of Joshua. Lord willing, we'll be right back here again tomorrow. And until then, I would ask that the Lord would bless you. Yes, you! And have a great day today. A great day godly day today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully maybe 7 a.m. I'll wish you for it.